Hey guys, it's Navjot Singh Jadeja and welcome to ED Technology. In today's lecture, we're going to talk on some new amazing features of C++11. So a lot of people might be thinking that C++11 has been there for a very long time. So what are we talking on? But let us talk about how we are reaching to C++11. So originally C with classes is how the C++ started in 1979. Uh, later on it was named as C++ around 83. The first compiler, commercial compiler for C++ was launched in 85. And then in around 1990 they came up with 2.0 and then around 98 if you remember C++ 98 we got a standardized ISO version of you know C++. So the next major revision in this object oriented language came directly in 2011. Yes guys this is the language which you are talking about C++ 11. So it's the same your C++ which you have been using but with some amazing new features. Also post that thing we already have two more revisions which is C++ 14 and 17 which we'll be discussing in the further videos. So what are the features which I'm talking about you know in terms of the features which makes this C++ 11 cool. So as you can see we have listed top C++ 11 features which makes it some amazing language. One is the auto. So basically C++ 11 presents the type inference capability with the help of an auto keyword. So what does that mean? That compiler infers the type of a variable at that point of declaration. Using the auto keyword actually permits us the you know less time for writing the things for which the compiler already knows. All right. So that is the first amazing feature which C++11 brings. Then as you can see we have the next one which is no except. So basically this is for exception handling. If a program is not written in a way where it can handle the exceptions and you know what happens in an object oriented programming language if you do not have a good exception handling then it can actually throw an exception which can be handled with the help of no except. So that's another cool feature. The one of the amazing cool features which comes with C++ is lambda. It's an anonymous function which can be created in C++. So basically it was a thing which was there in you know JavaScript and it can be used but now it's there in C++ also. So lambda expression basically allows us to define a functions which are locally but then are over by the end the function gets over. All right. We'll see what uh, lambda is in the further videos also because that's in my line. So we'll discuss that in detail. Next up we have the null pointer. So one of the amazing feature again with C++11 is that it allows the programmers to use null pointer in place of zero or null values. All right. So it, it basically means it allows specifying a pointer which refers to no values. So that's a cool feature which uh, comes up in here in the C++11. Next up we are talking about override identifiers which was not there earlier let me tell you that. So with you know when the pro projects grow very large and there are more number of files which are incorporated then you need to have a uh, you know parent class function which which actually can you know override very well. So that can be done with the help of override identifier. So that's another function which is there. Then next up we have unordered containers. So you know earlier there was a mechanism for containers to work in synchronization if you remember that. But with this this uh, we can actually you know uh, improve it in a way where this can be done in a very nicely wherein we get the you know four types of unordered containers. One is unordered map, second is unordered set, third is unordered multi map and fourth is unordered multi set. So these are also again cool features mechanism which is available in order to avoid you know ambiguity or even the race condition. So that's something which we'll be seeing also. Then next up we have the move. Move is optimized version of the copy. Now if you remember the copy it's the only difference is it destroys the data after moving from a place to its particular location right. So host will 
not keep the value so ultimately something which is uh, very useful in terms of you know temporary objects and other things and the final one which is variadic template right again as i said it is something similar to what we have seen in the javascript as well so variadic template is template template extensions which comes and is one of the exciting features which allows basically variable numbers of arguments to be taken for a function right and other thing is it allocates the memory run time so these are the things which makes the you know c++ an amaz amazing language and we will be seeing each of the other features listed in here in a separate video also there are some cool features which are not listed as in the primary ones are like you know there are simplified initializations member defaults are the case also standard library includes now smart pointers hash tables and much more so c++11 brings lot for the programmers on the table and uh, as i said in the further videos we'll try to dissect each of the feature in detail so that is it this was for all the programmers who are looking forward to check out what c++11 has to offer and if you like uh, what we are presenting in here please like the button uh, share and subscribe the channel thank you so much